It's been 20 years. 20 years since the alien usurped governorship of Earth. 20 years since humanity was ambushed like lambs by a wolf few knew existed. Advent has kept their grip on us strong, crushing all opposition, imprisoning all dissidents, and executing all rebellion. This does not mean humanity has given up hope. For away from the urban centers in the remote parts of West Asia, the organization once known as XCOM still fly. Led by Central, this task force created to defend Earth from the invading extraterrestrials have not abandoned their mission and continue to defy the will of the Elders. The cost, however, has been dire. Long-standing operatives of XCOM's still proud history have been captured, tortured, executed. Those who fought alongside the heroes of Earth, Suleiman, Vargas, Endo, Renard, Keb, Vassa, were hunted down and eliminated like sport. Worst of all, the commander, the pillar of the center of Earth's mighty defense, had disappeared, captured by the counterattack which had put an end to Earth's self-governance. But captured does not mean defeated, does not mean killed. Twenty years it took for XCOM to track down the location and condition of the commander. With the help of other resistance groups, XCOM was able to return the body to the Avenger, a great vessel that was used at the base of operations for XCOM. And with help by recently defected scientists Richard Teagan and Lily Chen, daughter of XCOM's very own Raven Chen. Both proved invaluable in removing the advent device implanted within the commander's nervous system, freeing him from their control. With the commander back at the helm, the order came quick and came down strong. For 20 years, the elders had tried to stamp the fight out of humanity. For 20 years, they had tried to exterminate and kill our rebellion was time to send them a message. The fight isn't over yet, and humanity never gives in. Humanity never dies. Let's play for XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Humanity never dies. This is a direct sequel to my narrative Let's Play for XCOM Enemy Within, which I did almost three to four years ago now. Um, so it's a long time in the making, but I've gone around to actually making this, and I hope that you guys will follow me on this mighty adventure as we follow the commander's efforts to retake Earth. Um, from Advent and the Alien Menace. We find ourselves in Operation Gatecrasher, which is the standard first level on every XCOM playthrough. Um, so we've got a team of four rookies. I am currently holding, so we've got three standard rookies and we've got, I believe, one skirmisher as well. Um, I'm playing on commander difficulty, as you can see by the health bars on each of those Advent troopers. They've got four uh, health rather than the standard three. Um, and yeah, we're going to see how we do in this mission, and hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I have in playing this. Um, you're going to have a little time skip here as I just move into position, because I spent a good few turns just moving up to a point where I feel happy enough to go and attack and get out of concealment. Um, so you can see I'm just moving my troopers one final time before we go off to attack the enemy. So, the people that I have on the team at the moment, we have Pryor, who is about to fire off her grenade and start off this contact. Um, we've also got Kazax, who is our skirmisher. Um, I believe we also have two others. I think we have Ahmed um, and Lentz. I may be incorrect, I'll see later on. At the moment, I'm just trying to figure out where I should position myself. I believe that I've killed all of them. I can see there are two bodies on the floor there. Um, now, in Commander, a grenade does between three to four damage, and a um, trooper has four health. So, very strange uh, that I managed to kill all of them in that one grenade. Uh, so, we've got Far Alag. Far <laughs> this name's going to get so frustrating. Far Alago um, and Ahmed. 
as the other two rookies. So we come across, put them into overwatch and fire off against the officer and the number two troopers. This is the, once again, standard first level thing for XCOM uh, Operation Gate Track. Gate Crasher. You've got two groups of three, one of which has an officer in there. So I'm going to move Kazakhs around the side here to get himself into full cover. In so doing, he actually sees that I didn't even hit this other guy, um, so I only killed two troopers. I only actually hit two troopers with that grenade, which is a bit annoying. Um, I'm looking to do a justice. I'm probably going to target the advent officer, even if it's a 53% chance of hitting. Managing to actually do it is incredible, um, but it's a great way to get rid of the officer early, which you always want to do. You also drop some loot, which is nice. We got ourselves a nice hair trigger and a focus PCS. Um, what that will allow us to do is upgrade our weapons when we need to do so. But yeah, I managed to miss a trooper completely with um, prize grenade, which is a bit frustrating, but she's going to go around and hopefully kill him. Uh, misses. Wasn't really a good chance of hitting, if I'm honest. But you know, that's the thing that happens. Um, far logo is actually too far from a grenade shot, so she's going to try and fire with a 53% chance of hitting. Misses again. That's again not very high chance of doing. Um, luckily, the trooper gets set on fire, although has a nice shot at Prior, who takes three damage, which is very lucky at this stage because the trooper um, shots do between three and four damage. They might even do between three and five. Um, which means that it would have been very likely that Fry would have been killed by that. Fa Alologo manages to get hit by the other trooper, taking a bit of damage there. So I've currently got two wounded troopers, um, whilst the skirmisher Kazakhs and Ahmed are doing alright. So with Kazakhs, I'm going to go around the side. I, it puts me in a really dangerous position if I miss, but my grapple isn't going to get me anywhere that I need to go. Um, and I really want to get flanking shots so I can end this as soon as possible. So I just decide I need to go there. He'll flank one of them, so be it. Um, and I'm going to go for him. Should be able to kill him. Only do three damage, though, which is the issue of commander difficulty. Does make him get one ability point for a flanking shot, however, which is fun. Uh, Pry's going to go good up copy. on top. On it's target. not going to put her into a good position again, but it puts her next to uh, a flanking yeah, shot for that ball. trooper. Manages to do three damage. He is on fire, so technically I shouldn't be wasting another shot on him because there's no point. Meanwhile, um, Ahmed's going to fire a grenade off. She cannot Run hit. It's thing. only got a 3x3 three three range, so she can't hit both of them. Manages to hit the one there. Dealing four damage, which is really good, and um, getting herself a promotion, which is fantastic. Falologo, oh that's Fal, Falolo, Falogo. I'm just gonna call it Falogo. It's great. If I'm wrong, I, I mispronounce things all the time. 70% um, chance, very pointless to shoot at him. I miss anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But he's on fire, so he's gonna die regardless. It only leaves one trooper for us to attack. Who's going to go around, go against Kazakhs, dealing critical damage, which is four. Um, luckily, Kazakhs as a skirmisher starts already at the Corporal, I think it's Corporal Squad, uh, no, he starts as a squad because everyone else is a rookie, which gives him an extra health, which is nice. And then Ahmed goes around and kills the final trooper. So that puts us safe and sound for that mission. Just going to put the detonation charge there, and then that, that's it for that first mission. No, no deaths, which is fantastic, and uh, our commander is always a, a benefit when you're this early on. There we go, an excellent squad rating. First contact with Advent forces was the success we all hoped it would be. The commander back at the helm, it would only be a matter of time before humanity was back in control of Earth, in control of its own destiny. The commander made some big changes in the fighting capability of our troops. Once proven in combat, each will be assigned a role. Sharpshooter, Ranger, Specialist, Heavy. Alongside the aid of the skirmishers, a group of Tanko Advent soldiers, nothing was going to get in our way. Commander. Once returned to XCOM, HQ, the Avenger, whatever it's called, um, we're going to be doing some research. We're going to go for hybrid materials because that's just we'll what I decide to go for. Um, and then we're going to go and get ourselves a flashbang and a med kit, which is just my standard setup at the start of the game. Um, and then as soon as we get to the main map, got some rookies as our first pickup. So we're going to go and get some rookies. Um, so, game plan. 
My general game plan is just to play through the game, effectively. Um, it's probably not going to go super well. Hybrid materials already done, that's pretty good. Which allows us to get nanoscale vest and research plated armor. We're just going to go for modular weapons next. It's good to get those two done pretty early. Um, just because getting weapons really early is nice. It also gives us a bunch of ability to attach things. We've got ourselves some nice little rookies here. So we've got Lentz, Kurosaki, Materel, and White. Um, but yeah, it's nice to get those two pieces of research done early. Uh, and then we get some supplies which we're going to be needing a lot of. Um, so yeah, the start of the game, pretty standard start before all the things pick up. Um, we actually get our Gorilla Ops straight away, uh, Operation Hammer Queen, which is going to happen in the US. So we're going to go there, do that mission very quickly, and we've got ourselves a set of four dudes. We've got three rookies and a squaddy Ahmed. I'm just going to do a little bit of an update here. Um, as you can see, I give Ahmed the health kit, but other than that, nothing really much has changed as we move on to Operation Hammer Queen. In this area, as we understand it, destroying that transmitter while it's still connected to their network. And looks like the Hammer Queen mission is going to be underground in the sewer That's systems exactly underneath one of the to. towns and in the US. We have a transmitter that we need to take out. The central is talking over me very rudely. Um, so we're just going to do some running. We're all concealed, so we can just run around before we can see any of the enemies. And we straight up see a sectoid, uh, our first little sectoid, as well as a trooper. Uh, Tegan's is going to give us a little bit of some lore on the sectoids. Um, and we're just going to move up. So Lens is going to move up around the side. Just going to move into a area where we can have some really good shots on people not risk ourselves too much at the moment because I'm concealed and this is something that I really like about this game is that you can just move really far without too much problem although sometimes and you will see this throughout this playthrough uh, I will do some running which is going to get myself out of cover and out of concealment which is going to be awful so the aim of this mission is that we have to get to the transmitter and destroy it. Um, we've got a turn timer to uh, that we need to basically beat the level before. Throughout the level are some of those uh, devices which you can shoot at and that adds one turn to the turn timer. Um, obviously shooting at them is going to reveal us so we're not going to shoot them yet. We've got three turns effectively to deploy and then we can just continue moving up, shooting one every turn, delaying that turn timer even more and that will allow us to um, get ourselves to a successful section. So we move up Lau all the way to the section over there. We've got Lau, Lentz, White and Ahmed. Ahmed being our sharp shooter, which we I was going to say sniper which is why that was a weird voice there. Um, but yeah, we're just going to move up with all of them. We're going to try and get high up with Ahmed just so that we can get some of that sweet aim bonus with her sniper rifle. It's going to be very necessary. We've only got two turns left um, before we can actually... Well, before we lose the game, uh, effectively. Or lose the mission, I should say. And the enemies have kind of moved into a position where I can't really shoot at them very nicely. So I'm just going to go around the side here, get some boxes can't really see them. Um, I've also equipped, I can see the flash grenade. I think that was on Lau. I didn't actually see that in the squad selection screen, but she definitely got it. So there we go. Uh, not on Lau, on I guess that's Lentz. Um, either way, she's, Lau is going to fire off the grenade. I'm just going to start the mission now, or the combat now I should say, uh, just because I have to. Three damage instead of four, which isn't great. Um, and I only hit the trooper, but it forces him to run out of cover. The sectoid is going to be my primary target just because the sectoid is very dangerous. Um, Lens is the one with the um, flashbang, so there we go. There's a bit of a delay here, probably because I was texting someone, which is something that I do when I record these games. Um, I will try and cut these out most of the time. This was quite a short one, so it doesn't really matter too much. Got white here. I've got enough range to throw a grenade, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to throw it. It'll break his cover, which is really nice, and also deal enough damage um, while well, to reduce him in health. 
Sadly, with lens, can't really do much more. I've got a flashbang grenade, which I'm going to fire out. The flashbang has such massive range, which is really nice. But I'm going to try and hit all of them, but I don't think I'm in range to hit both of them with that. Uh, but I think I'm just going to fire off anyway. Am I? Well, I'm going to fire at that. This doesn't make sense. Taking well out the, hoped, the separation, separation network timer by one. Um, the sector is going to do a mind control, at least attempt mind control. Instead, it goes for panic. One, <laughs> Jesus Christ, so loud. Um, one of the things I really don't like about this game is the sound design. Um, not because it's bad, but just because the ratios are so out. Um, you're going to hear it in a moment when the turn starts again. The heavy breathing is insane. Like, how loud do you need that heavy breathing to be, and how long do you need it to be? It's crazy. Anyway, Lens got shot at, didn't take any damage. I don't think I took any damage in general. Um, as Ahmed is just going to just breathe beyond everything. I'm currently trying to get Lens around so that he can get a nice um, flanking shot. Not only because that gives him an extra ability point, but also it makes it just easier to hit. Takes 4 damage on the Sector, who is now on 1 HP left. Gets himself the ability point for the flanking shot. White is going to go around. Um, he doesn't have any shots on anyone, which is awful, really. So I'm just going to put him forward. Hopefully, get to see the trooper at least, but probably not. Just going to put him into Overwatch in that case. Um, is going to go up. She does have her um, pistol, which would be a really nice thing to get. I'm just going to put her in full in full cover. I don't get any shots on the sectoid. Half cover, I do. Puts me very open to the uh, trooper. However, for a 74% chance to hit the trooper. 81% chance to hit the sectoid. I decided to go for the sectoid. Okay, I was wondering whether or not I was going to hold my shot because um, Lau was still going, but she is panicked, so I guess that's probably be why I went for the sectoid first. Um, Lau goes around 38% chance to hit the trooper, so I just go into Overwatch instead. And as he moves away, Lau shoots but misses. Sectoid dropped out some of the. Uh, it's like something to collect, so Lens is just going to go pick that up quickly. What do we get? Is it like a stock or something? An Illyrium core, fair enough. Um, they're pretty good, pretty useful later on mostly. Um, well, most things are, are useful later on. I mean, they're useful throughout the thing. So with um, cores, that allows us to make things in the um, some of the special projects. In any case, White is just going to rush off. I don't see the trooper. Um, however, I have depicted two... depicted? I've spied two of the devices that we can break to uh, increase our timer which we do need to do because we've only got one turn left luckily it's a guaranteed hit every time we shoot at it and with a quick little pistol shot Ahmed manages to up our timer by one extra turn and Lau's going to go around the side she's going to go into overwatch as the trooper runs away he's out of range for the watch though so doesn't manage to hit anything however he does bring some friends so we've got a sectoid and another trooper it's going to come around um, yeah, as things start just breaking. Am is going to go into full cover over there. Full cover is always better than half cover, obviously. Uh, to get some nice little flanking shot on the trooper, but it's probably not the best thing to go for. So she's just going to go for a guaranteed turn time extension of one as we move the rest of the crew around. Lens has got himself into a position where he can't actually see any of the enemies, and that's very frustrating. So I'm just going to rush him up behind full cover, which was... Probably a risk, but it was a risk willing to take at that point because the enemies are quite far away from him and he needs to get back into combat as soon as possible. The risk is that in moving him over there, I would have been able to trigger some more enemies, but luckily it does not. White fires at the sectoid. Flanking shot, 70% misses. Very ex uh, Very annoying, actually, as well, just because I need to get these bodies falling. Um, it's not good that it hasn't happened yet. Luckily, firing at the trooper does 5 damage um, because the rifle does between 3 and 5 I think usually doing 3 um, but yeah, managed to get a good little kill on that Sectoid is going to use this ability to summon up the dead or reanimate one of the troopers now when it comes to Sectoids, especially on Commander the worst thing they can do is try and mind control the best thing they can do is that um, just because it wastes their action effectively and in commander difficulty effectively if you haven't killed the sectoid the first time you kill it the second regardless of what's going on um, Lent's still out of range really for anything uh, productive so he is going to just up the separation timer by one white I'm going to see like I really want to open that door up just to see what's around the corner and be able to shoot at the uh, 
device, unable to do so at the moment. So he's just he's going to open the door. He's still got a whole action um, to go for, the, his second action to do so. Um, so he's going to go around. He doesn't spot any enemies, which I was really surprised at. But hey, that's good. Hey, eh? uh, Lau's going to go around the side to get herself into quarter cover. She also flanks the sectoid. She's going to fire at it. Dealing critical damage, six damage critical, not enough to kill the sector, but definitely enough to, for our purposes. And then Armit's going to use her pistol to fire at the sectoids and kill him off, which also kills off the trooper. Which is good, because that's exactly what we want. And that being done, we've only got one turn left on the uh, network separator before it disconnects. So I'm just going to rush my troops forward. I have to shoot a lot of these um, devices to up the timer, otherwise I'm going to lose. Luckily, White is in a very nice position to be able to do that. So he's just going to do that to continue because I know the timer by one turn at a time. And then Lau really needs to reload, but sh I am going to go for a reload. I thought I was going to go for a sprint there, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so she's going to go for a reload. I tempted to go around hey, go. that flank but I decide it's probably best especially at this point with rookies to stick all together because if I if she's on her own and activates a unit of enemies that's not gonna go well for her definitely not so what I'm gonna do with white is I'm gonna go around the side I'm gonna see if I can uh, because that's gives me vision on the uh, room see if there's any more enemies and I do actually spot an advent officer the wounded trooper from earlier and another trooper so three groups of two uh, dealt with quite a bit. It's 20% chances to hit, it's not very good, so I'm just going to go, rather than going to Overwatch, just going to go and extend that timer. It allows the rest of my troops to move up into better positions to take out the enemy. I believe I still have one grenade available, but I might be wrong. Uh, I think Ahmed still has her grenade. Um, not Ahmed, because Ahmed has the med kit. Uh, she's going to fire a pistol to extend that timer by a further turn. I think that's all of them. It is, yeah, central telling us that that's all of the devices dealt with. So I've got three turns to win this combat, to win this mission. Uh, Lens is the one. Oh, he's got a... Is that a flash? Did I not use the flash? I didn't use the flash. Interesting. Well, now is a very good time to use the flash, regardless. Uh, disorientates two of the three. I don't think it got that final one over there. Lau doesn't actually have hers because I think she was the one who fired it. Maybe I didn't bring enough grenades. I don't even know anymore. Either way, no, all three of them got disorientated. Um, despite that, Ahmed does get marked and the officer is going to fight at her, dealing four damage. Luckily, she did upgrade up to a squaddy, which means that she can't die from that, unless it was a critical, of course. Um, but yeah, that didn't go great. But luckily, she does only suffer enough damage to be left on one so she's going to med heal herself she really needs it in case she gets shots again although does that heal her up to full yes it does um which is good because if she gets shot again then it avoids her being badly shot firing off a 28 percent chance to hit actually manages to kill that trooper on overwatch which allows us to move up to a position where we can potentially hit and kill the uh advent trooper and officer. White is going to go and try and do a flanking maneuver around the side. Um, don't worry if you thought that was a discord message on your side, it wasn't. It was a discord message while I was recording. These things happen. I have turned on notifications for future episodes and I apologize about that. Lau is going to move up. We're going to get ourselves a nice little flanking shot maybe. 61% uh, yeah that's flanking enough. Shoots, kills, actually manages to do five full damage against that and it puts us towards the device. So, destroying the device, we have to plant a bomb on this one uh, to blow it up. I'm gonna go into Overwatch over there. She, the officer's gonna go, because she is still marked against Ahmed, but actually manages to miss that time. And then we're gonna move up. Uh, now, what is now going to do? She's gonna go up, she's gonna plant that bomb, which ends the mission as, well, confirms the final mission briefing there and then all we need to do is neutralize the final enemy so we've got the officer there dealing a flanking shot dealing a critical six which leaves him on two hit points we've only got a single thing to do left so what we're going to do is we're going to move lens around the side doesn't matter that he's out in the open because hopefully he's not going to miss 81 percent and he doesn't which is fantastic 
So an excellent mission rating there, and then we got a bunch of promotions. Ahmed's going to be promoted up to Corporal rank, and she's going to go with Long Watch, which is the better upgrade of the two, in my opinion. Uh, especially since I'm going to rate her as a sniper rather than as a gunslinger. And then we've got three promotions up to Squaddy. We've got our first Grenadier promotion for Ahmed. Not Ahmed for Lau. Ahmed was the sniper. Um, and then we've got a Ranger and another Heavy. Uh, with Lens become the Ranger and White become the other Heavy. But that will be all for this first episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll be joining me on this quest to make sure that humanity never dies. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander.